Well, how's it going, everyone? It's super early Saturday morning, but we are chugging away like a train across the country, going through different states and getting their tax rates and updating. And South Carolina is no exception. And we're going to talk about South Carolina in this video. South Carolina made substantial changes. They are on top of their game. <clears throat> they have uh, released 2023 guidance. They released a 2023 W-4. And I was able to go through this and program a very substantial tax change in South Carolina. I mean, no joke, this is a total changeover in their just nature and structure of how they tax. And I like it. It's simpler. Uh, I'll have to give them that. And they're using 10% of gross wages up to $6,475. That's what this means. That, that's part of their standard deduction now. It's a unique way of doing the standard deduction. I have not seen much of this type of mul multiplying a percentage of your gross wages ever as a, uh, as a deduction amount, but there is a threshold on it. And so if you think about, um, uh, you know, basically no, nobody can deduct more than 6,700. So they're kind of maxing out their standard deduction at 6,475, if you think about it that way, but, uh, but it is based on gross wages. So, you, you can formulate this, which is what I did. The South Carolina W-4 is going to ask you for the number of allowances. That's all you have to fill out. You do not have to choose a filing status for South Carolina. They do not care. You can put the, the NA is there. You do not have to do anything there. So you just have to get the W-4 allowances. Then the formula is really straightforward here. Uh, you're just going to annualize the wages, take whatever the gross wages are for the pay period, multiply it by the number of pay periods, and then subtract out uh, the exemption. It's 4310 Ten dollars is the amount of an exemption. So that was raised significantly as well. If you compared that to last year's, which was like twenty six hundred, so they just really totally, totally changed things around here in South Carolina. And I, I do. I, it is a much cleaner um, way to to formulate it in certainly programming and also in what it's doing. So let's talk about what it's doing. So after you get your annual annualized wage base, you have to also reduce. The, the amount it's going to be taxed by this 10% of gross wages standard deduction formula. And that's what I wrote here, which is it, it takes 10% of your gross wages, your annualized gross wages for the period, checks to see if it's more than 6,475. And if it, it if it's less than 6,475, then it uses that number. But if it's more, then you, it uses 6,475, which is the maximum that you can deduct. And that's how you get your annualized wage base is right here. And then you just run the formula through it, which they explain right here. It's a very easy formula. It's it's the first $3,330 is not tax. Actually, I just realized I typed the formula slightly wrong. It's 3330, not 3,300. <laughs> just change that in two, two places. I need to change that. That's how we update this file on the fly. Um, so that is correct. And we've now applied that to our South Carolina rates. It, it, it's pretty easy. The first $3,330 is not taxable. Then $16,680 is the next threshold where you're going to pay 3%. Um, and then after that, if it's more than $16,680, it's 6.5%. Um, but, uh, I like this one better where you add, you add money. So, you, so you subtract 16,680 from whatever your wages are, multiply the remaining number by six and a half percent, and then add 400 bucks. Cause that was the tax on the first 16,680 is what that $450, dollars and 50 cents was. That's the way I do this formula right here. If you see this 450 plus that. So um anyway south carolina is now done for 2023 it works i don't believe there are any county rates works right here um uh so big 
big significant change, total, totally different way, totally different instructions from the past. So in that sense, it is completely different and we have updated it and we're one of the first you're gonna see doing videos about it because this was issued in November. This was issued 50 days ago, something like that. Uh, and so this is brand new stuff hitting South Carolina for the new year. So payroll should be easy. We are making it so, and we are making it through the list. Oh, and get it's I'm starting to taste it. I'm starting to taste how close we are to getting through a first run through of every state. We are now done. This is going to be revised. This is accurate. South Dakota, no tax. Tennessee, no tax. Tennessee. Let's go to the beautiful state of Utah and check it out. That's what's next on the list. Payroll should be easy. We are making it so and we're making it so in South Carolina. Yes, we 